Welcome to the Sizer online tutorial. This video is about CLT and will demonstrate both structural and file design features of the software. The newest version of the software now includes CLT panels as an option for the choice of material when designing beams and walls. In this video, we will concentrate on wall panels, but the software works similarly when designing CLT as a floor panel. By default, the width of the panel is conveniently set to 1000 mm, which is not user modifiable. The number of layers will automatically adapt based on the choice of depth you have entered. When it comes to the choice of species, three options are available, SPF, Douglas fir, or Northern. Depending on that choice, the great possibility options to choose from varies, E1 or V2 for SPF, E2 or V1 for Douglas fir, and finally, E3 when you select Northern. For the purpose of this example, we will add a specified dead load, live load, and wind line load of respectively 2 kN per meter, 3 kN per meter, and 1 kN per meter. By leaving the depth of the wall CLT panel as unknown, Sizer generates recommendations on the section to use based on the other details we have defined, a section that would resist the applied load. Following that selection, the software will generate its design check calculation sheet. By including a fire resistance duration of one hour with one side of the wall exposed to the fire, along with the same structural configuration details we have previously specified, Sizer determines a section with a larger depth. This is due to the fire resistance calculation method from Annex B of CSA 086, which determines an appropriate cross-section of the CLT to resist the loads, but reduced due to the sharing of the wood in a fire after the one-hour standard fire exposure. That being said, Sizer suggests in our case a section of 243mm in depth versus the 175mm we have been suggested previously.